Hello and welcome to another Precision Flyer Repairs video. This one is about a 343 American Flyer 080 wheel configuration steam engine. And I realize that I've done a number of videos on AC Gilbert American Flyer steam engines, some pretty far taken apart, but I don't believe I've made one on this particular engine before. So while I have one in from a customer who has asked me to work on it, I thought I'd make a quick video kind of capturing it at the point now where I'm about to embark on um, the full disassembly, cleaning, and reviving of the engine to as hopefully close to original performance as possible. Uh, the 080 is um, a really fun little engine. Uh, it has a die cast steamer chassis this is the 343 version and it has a die cast tender body um, I believe this was a 53 through 58 production I'd have to check my books to be certain of that so if uh, you will I think it was during the really prime time for American Flyer as far as quality of manufacture and engineering design in their products um, it's got the smoke unit in the half inch field and armature of many of the steam engines. Uh, this one clearly in need of some help. The front um, armature bearing just literally fell out of the chassis and uh, everything's pretty greasy. Some parts of it are pretty badly worn and will need to be replaced. Others just um, addressed and repaired or refurbished. Um, it's got the four position reverse unit in the tender nothing exceptional there it's got a four wire harness with a fifth wire so it's a five wire configured steam engine important especially with five wires to get the plug orientation correct so that you get the optimal performance from the engine and um, get the red dots that you can see here on the female board and the male plug aligned when you do connect the tender back with the engine. Um, some unique things about it are the fact that it uses 8 by 32 size bolts in um, the installation of the steam chest and uh, front pilot assembly, although there's no pilot truck per se. Uh, these are typically on most nearly all other American Flyer steam engines 6 by 32 screws which are this size and are used with the smoke unit, which is, of course, common with other American Flyer steam engines. Um, another thing about this that's interesting and different, of course, is the wheel configuration, not having any pilot truck or any trailing truck. It is just a 080. And these wheels are obviously of smaller diameter than those you will find on most nearly every other steam engine in the American Flyer lineup and that requires then um, when you're checking the uh, quartering um, from side to side of all the drivers just to make sure that they actually are in good alignment with each other and as in this engine's case uh, there are wheels coming apart rims are coming off their insulators and some insulators um, are loose on their hubs and I'll soon find out if there are any hubs loose on their axles as this all goes through a very careful cleaning and inspection process and then those which need attention being um, removed and disassembled and reassembled um, crewed and quartered but the point being that the tools used to um, work on these size wheels are obviously different than, than the tools you would use on the larger size three part steam engine wheels, um, especially the quartering tool. The quartering tool has to be of the nature and design to work with these smaller wheels um, to the point where even the alignment pins that go in these holes have to be of a smaller, more delicate diameter than the uh, quartering tool used on the larger ones where even these alignment holes are of a larger diameter to um, accommodate the quartering process. But um, this one has pull more wheels in the back and, and these do appear initially 
uh, to be reusable, which is great. Um, in a condition that uh, with a little conditioning, they should give plenty of good traction again. Um, but a great little engine that's in for some long overdue servicing and hopefully revival to uh, top-notch performance once again. Um, this customer has asked that proactively or preventatively any of the cloth covered lines used, wires that is used, get replaced with modern uh, super flex uh, plastic insulated wires. Uh, so that'll all be uh, replaced, but come out looking pretty authentic again, because at least the sheath around that modern harness will be cloth to give it that um, original look. And I thought I'd share with you um, where this one is at this point, at what one looks like taken apart if you hadn't seen it before. And uh, then get back to you later, I think, with um, a video perhaps of it in action on the layout. And if in the meantime, you'd like some additional information about S gauge drains and the repair, upgrade, and conversion services I offer on them, please check my website out at www.precisionflyerrepairs.com or email me at precisionflyerrepairs at gmail. Com. And thanks again for watching. Until next time, be well and have fun running your trains.